and welcome back to this week's episode of the conversion of lifeboat Huga. I am in my bedroom and I've started the bed frame and I'll take you along this week to see how far I get with that. Hope you enjoy this episode. So just letting you see what I'm doing at the moment. I've done quite a bit on the bed and the storage underneath it. And the idea is, I've been using the spindles for the headboard, as you can see. I'll show you the other side as well. And um, I, the idea is to make it look like a four-poster bed, but with two posts, as the back end is under the um, foredeck anyway. So what I'm doing is drilling some holes in some oak spindles that I've got. And the idea is to put them on there and the holes are basically so I can put a dowel in there and glue them up with some epoxy and there will be another one on top of that I can show you that as well it's not the best side to show you really but uh, so that will go on top of there and then that will be the bedpost on one side and uh, I'll show you when I've got them together. So this is what I've done, got one of the posts in, connected with dowels and then the top will lock in into the insulation and into the ceiling so that should be strong enough um, these ones will be varnished the rest of the headboard will be painted so i'll crack on with doing the other side Both sides of the um, bed head in now. That one's already sealed into the insulation. And the other thing is that my hose has just arrived for the filler cap for the water tank. So that's going to go from under this floorboard just there all the way up to the filler cap on the side. So I'll be doing that next. So I have to put a, a joiner bit in because the pipe I got isn't flexible enough to actually make this turn nice and tight, whereas this one is. And I'm not too worried about this not being proper drink water pipe because, um, well, it's not actually going to have any water sitting in it anyway. So that will be all right. That's nice and tight, that should do it. I want to keep this as close to the hull as I can because um, hopefully there'll be some um, lockers here for clothing and stuff. So that should work just fine. Get the other bit of the pipe connected up. But, um, that will do then. So that's the filler pipe for the water tank roughly connected. I say roughly because it needs to be led close to the bulkhead. I've got enough um, length there and it's flexible enough now to actually do that. So this bit of floor can go back. That's um, it's come together nicely. So, the end of this week's video, I'll show you what I've been doing. I've 
got the pipe connected for the water tank I've put in the two uprights for my two posts of bed and I've made loads of storage under the bed not finished yet as you can see I've got two bits of floor um, of the bed bottom that I've actually um, primed underneath and they will get some holes in so the uh, mattress can breathe and um, as I've chosen for a king size bed um, I haven't got loads of space around the bed um, so I'm kind of hoping I will end up with enough storage for clothing and things but the idea is I'll just go back to where I came from to have some storage over the door there which I can reach from standing on the bed which uh, may sound a bit of a hassle but it should be all right I'd like to use as much space as I can and um, of course I've got the two triangles on either side of the uh, fore hatch and like I said there's still space under the bed that I can use these lockers will be um, accessible from the sides you might have seen before that I've got quite a big locker which will have a shelf in it from the front and um, yeah it's coming together nicely and um, I hope you enjoyed this episode if you have please like and subscribe leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one bye